what's up YouTube I forgot to say one thing the nurse uh, the only thing that came out of this nursing home situation I guess this would be part three but yeah the only thing that came out of this nursing home situation is when God has blessed me with my own apartment and I've been in this apartment for a year now and so I truly thank God that he, you know, saw saw me through this nursing home situation. But I also had to realize that sometimes God has to, you know, break you all the way down to build you back up again. In any circumstances, you don't even have to be in a nursing home. But for my experience, I felt like that's when I had my, you know, break breaking down experience to be built back up by God because it it taught me that um patience is a virtue it taught me how to stand on God's word and have a stronger faith and believing in him um and it also taught me that um God is going to come whenever he wants to come in his season, not on, not on my time, but God's time. So, you know, if you're dealing with something in your life and you have asked and prayed to God about something, be patient with him because he's always patient, patient with us. So just know that patience is a virtue and when God shows up and I said this in my um past video when God shows up he shows out so be patient with him and remember it's not on your time but it's on God's time okay but yeah I, I wanted to share that with you guys because that was I kid you not, that was the only thing that came out of this whole experience is that um, I got myself an apartment and I also learned that I better take better care of myself because I don't want to end up, ever want to end up in a nursing home ever again. I'll, and when I know there is house uh, home care services as well, home care service, you know, um, it's just as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're not, you know, on that verge of going to the nursing home, you'll be fine with just home care service. So... Like I said, you all, if you have anybody in the nursing home, please go check on them because, man, from what I've seen, it's just about the money. And, and, and not only that too, guys, but I noticed that they switches, they switch our rooms out. Because they want the pe the patients that have money, money to go into the bigger rooms and the better rooms where all the air conditioning is all fixed up and it looks all nice and stuff like that. My intake on that is you getting all our money and giving us only thirty dollars a month, but you you uh expect us to be in a small room knowing some of us, some of us need the, those bigger rooms because of our chair and those uh bigger rooms most likely have the bigger bathrooms so you're not really accommodating our needs especially for the ones that are using a wheelchair we need bigger space. Another thing about this uh, nursing home experience, if you have somebody in there and you bringing them clothes, don't bring them new clothes because 
what you're going to find out is somebody else is going to be wearing it. Another resident is going to be wearing the new clothes that you gave your love, bought your loved ones to put on. So, my suggestion is go home and see if you can find some old clothes that you don't want anymore or they have and they, they don't never wear it probably around the house or something. That's what you need to give them because... Once again, you will see another resident with the clothes on that you bought for your loved one. Shoes and all, too. Another thing. Don't send your loved ones some money. Because you got staff in there still as well. Because I've had plenty of stuff stolen from me. Plenty of stuff. They steal anything these days. And, of course, they're going to lie about it and say maybe the resident came in. No. Let's see. I hate when people play with my intelligence and they think I'm just stupid. Ain't nobody been in that room but you. So, my suggestion is if you're going to buy them some nice smelling good stuff don't do it what you do is buy them maybe the dollar store stuff and you know you won't be so mad about you know them taking that because it's not really worth nothing but if you buy them bath and body work stuff don't do that i'm just telling you from experience, it will walk out the room. It will walk out the room. So don't don't give them anything. I was even skeptical leaving money around. I, I've had money taken away from me too, and I've heard other residents who was in who were in was in that facility saying it. Um. Somebody stole their credit cards and debit cards and all that kind of stuff. Don't bring none of that stuff in the in that facility. Please don't. Because they like to cover their behinds. They cover each other up. You'll be stuck. And I, like I said, I wish I knew the law and knew how to get around uh, what was going on in that facility. See, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. And I'm just saying, y'all, just go check on your loved ones. Do not leave them by themselves. Don't just not check on them. Only The only time y'all come is on holidays and their birthdays. That's, that's, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. So, just be mindful of those things. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. If you could, you know, get somebody to help you take care of your loved ones. And like I said, here in Illinois, it's called DHS. You go through DHS and have your family member or somebody that you know that you could really rely on and knowing that they that your loved one would be taken care of by them do that because like i said i did it i have two caregivers my nephew and my sister they both take care of me they both go gross grocery shopping for me they do all those things it's about you doing your homework and, you know, if, if you don't have those type of people in your life and you don't want nobody in your house, then I can understand. Just do your homework when you're putting your loved one in these nursing homes. Go see them. If you can't see them every day, every other day. How about every week or once a week? Something. Let, let these staffs know that you ain't playing about your loved one being in there. And I'm just saying, y'all, 
I, I'm being a voice for those who cannot speak up for themselves. Do that. I'm telling you. Do some homework. Think before you even put your loved ones in the nursing home. Because all nursing homes ain't good. And just because they ain't that, like I said, just because in, in, in there, in a nice neighborhood, that does not mean they are being taken care of. Because you don't know, um, your loved one might have a good day and they remember something. And they like, oh, well, this nurse hit me. Or I don't want to be around this nurse. Or the CNA did something to me. I don't want them to... And then what they do is, this is another thing that they do. They use the, the resident's mental state. Saying, oh, she say that all the time. Ain't nothing happened to her. She say that all the time. You better be investigating. Because if, if there's a bruise on the body or something, something happened. And they ain't going to tell you that because they covering up their behinds. That's This is why I say they're always changing up the names because they're getting sued. They're getting sued. The last one I was in, they changed up the name. Because people out of the Whitworth is suing them because of, of their loved ones. So, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. But I thank God that he did uh, saw, see me through out of all that was going on. Um, it was another thing that I didn't touch up on. Um, this other experience I had where I had to in, go into the hospital and um, my I don't know why I was in the hospital but I was in the hospital for something I, I don't know it might have been for UTI because people don't want to change Foley catheters these days I don't know what that's about but anyway laziness that's what I call it but uh I was in the hospital and did nobody notify none of my family that I was in the hospital. So I thank God that I was not unconscious where I couldn't speak for myself because I don't think they would have ever told them that I was in the hospital. So I picked up, you know, I had my cell phone with me. So I picked up the cell phone and I said, Ma, she's like, uh huh. I was like, um, I'm in the hospital. They ain't call you? No, they ain't call me. Stuff like that, you can't let that pass because you can have somebody that cannot talk for themselves and end up in the hospital and something happened to them, God forbid, death. You don't even know actually what happened. All you know that they um the next day they'll tell you, oh, she she went into the hospital last night, and this is what happened. They was supposed to notify you at, as soon as they send that patient out to go to the hospital. Be careful, please be careful putting your loved ones in these facilities. Because they all about the money, baby. That's it. All about the money. It might not be all of them, but the ones I've been in, that's it. This is all. So, if you made it to the end of this video, this is just part three, and I'm done, y'all. But if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, comment, and also let me know if you guys want me to do a get ready with me. I want to know from my new subscribers. First of all, I thank God for you all um, showing me some love and support. But let me know what y'all want me to do, you know. Um... I'm willing to do some challenges, um, and I say some because all these spicy noodles and 
hot wings. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm working on some things myself. Uh, and like I said, I I have to get all the right equipments for those things before I, I reveal what I'm gonna do. So let me know what you guys think or what you think I should be uh, doing or if there's any topic that you want me to do let me know all right once again I'm gonna say goodbye <laughs> this is it though I'm gonna say goodbye you all have a blessed blessed day evening morning wherever you are in the world stay blessed know that I love you and God loves you even more Take care. Bye. For real. Bye.